Hello, uh, in this video I will show you how to read an XML file. Okay, so before before a, um, seeing this tutorial, um, you should have seen my other tutorials on how to write an XML file. Uh, why? Because we're going to to um, to use the same concept. The same concept. So we're going to use the XML file that we made in the other tutorials. So this XML file. Okay, so um, we're going to add one button, one list box, and one text box to the form. Like that. Okay, so like in the other tutorials, um, this text box will be the title text box, and the items will be added to the list box. And this will be load button, so button load. Okay, size the form. Send to the controls. Okay, so the title will be added to this text box and the items will be added to the list box. So now we're going to add a click event handler to the bot to the load button. So click and we're going to add a new thing. So system using system dot XML. Why? Because we're going to use XML. Okay. So here we're going to create a XML text writer object, so XML text writer writer equals new XML text reader and uh, the XML file is called text.xml so text.xml okay, here we're going to create a, an XML uh, XML node type objects, so XML node type type, and here we're going to create a loop. Okay, so while while reader, which is the XML text reader object, dot read. So um, while the XML text reader can read, we're going to um, check each each um, each part of the hit the XML documents. So okay, while reader can read uh, type which is the XML not type object type equals reader dot node type node type is property of the XML text reader object that that returns the um, the node type of the current the current part of the, X, the XML document that is being read Okay, so type is equal to reader dot not, dot not type. Okay, so then we're going to check if um, the node type is an element. So this is an element, this is an element, this is an element, etc. So we're going to check if it's an element. So if type is equal to XML not type dot element. Okay, so if it's an element, we're going to check the name of the element. So the name of this element is saved. The name of this element is title, item, etc. So okay. So if reader dot name is equal to title, so title the title will be displayed in the uh, first text box. So text we're going to uh, first before um, adding the text to the text box we're going to to read again so reader the read okay why we're reading again because um, after this if statement is right there um, the reader is writing the title element so if we read again it goes to the to title so the text between this the title text and if we read again, it goes to title and etc. So if we read again, we're here. So reader dot read, and then we can uh, put the value of the reader into the text box one dot text. So text box one dot text is equal to reader dot value. Okay. Now we're going to check if the reader name isn't is item. So if it's an item. Uh, 
Um, if it's an item, we're going to read again. So reader dot read, and here we're going to add uh, an items to the list box. So list box one dot items dot add, and we had the value of the reader in the list box. So list box one dot items dot add reader dot value, and at the end of the, of the while the while loop, we'll close the reader. So reader dot close. Okay, now we can debug the, uh, the code. So start without debugging. Okay, load. Oh, it load. So the title, which is title, here title, 44, EFD, EFD, 4 FDF, and try any cutting. So it works. Um, the code will be available in the uh, pastebin link um, in the video description. And I also need more suggestions for my next videos. So if you liked my videos, please subscribe and post a comment. So see you soon. Bye.